Hi, it's Miss Vital. This podcast is on population ecology, which corresponds to Chapter 53 in the textbook. Population is a group of interbreeding individuals of one species in a given area. Density is the number of individuals per unit area or volume. Dispersion is how individuals in a population are spaced out. Individuals in an area can be counted as a total. If that's not possible, a sample is taken, then multiplied. The MARC recapture program, counting, tracks, nests, etc., can all be used to estimate population density. Population density can be affected by births, immigration, which is moving in, death, and emigration, which is moving out. Patterns of dispersal include dumped, uniform, this can be due to territoriality, which is defending a space against others, or they can be random. Demography is the vital statistics of populations and how they change over time. It includes birth rates and death rates. Life tables summarize survival patterns by age. They can be constructed by following a cohort. A cohort is a group of individuals the same age from birth to death. Survivorship curves plots the number of cohorts still alive at each age. Often, females are studied using a reproductive table. It's also called a fertility schedule, which summarizes reproductive rates. For example, the number of female offspring produced by each age group in a cohort. Change in population size is equal to births plus immigrants entering minus deaths minus emigrants leaving. N is the population size. T is time. Change in N is change in the population size, and change in T is a time interval, like a lifespan or a generation time. Capital B is equal to the number of births, and capital D is equal to the number of deaths. Therefore, change in N over change in T is equal to B minus D. Per capita birth rate, which is a lowercase b, is the number of offspring produced per unit time by an average member of a population. For example, 34 births per year per 1,000 people is equal to 0 .034, which is equal to b. Capital B is therefore equal to lowercase b times n. This will calculate the number of births per a certain population. For example, if capital B is equal to 0 .034 times 500 people, and capital B is equal to 17 births per year. Lowercase m is per capita death rate. If m is equal to 0 0.016, then in a population, it's equal to 1,000. Therefore, 16 people will die. Population growth equation is change in n over change in t is equal to lowercase b times n minus lowercase m times capital N. This is a revised population growth equation from the one we saw before. You can also just look at the difference between per capita birth and death. Lowercase r is equal to lowercase b minus lowercase m. If r is greater than zero, it's a growing population. If r is less than zero, it's a declining population. Zero population growth is when r is equal to zero. We can now rewrite the equation for change in a population size as change in n over change in t is equal to r times n. This is usually used for one year. If a population has unlimited access to resource, population increase is called exponential population growth. Lowercase d times n over lowercase d times t is equal to r max capital N. That is the maximum rate for the species. Carrying capacity, which is K, is the ma maximum population size that an environment can sustain. Carrying capacity changes with the availability of limited resources, things like energy, shelter, predators, water, nesting sites, etc. Logistic population growth considers changes in the growth rate as the population size nears carrying capacity. Life history are traits that affect an organism's schedule of reproduction and survival. 
It considers the age of maturity, how often animals reproduce, how many offspring are reproduced, each time it mates. Except for humans, animals don't choose when they reproduce or how many offspring they have. This is a result of evolution. Some animals, like salmon, only reproduce once before they die. This is called semoparity. Iteroparity is when an animal mates many times. How many offspring survive and the chance that the adults will survive to reproduce again determines which plan evolves in different species. K selection is density dependent selection. Populations living close to carrying capacity are considered K selection. A lot of competition exists. For example, mature trees in an old growth forest would be K selection. R selection is density independent selection. This is when the population density is well below carrying capacity. There's little competition. For example, weeds growing in an abandoned farm field. Birth rate and death rates that don't change with population density are density independent. When death rate rises with population density, or when birth rates drop with population density rising, you have density dependent. This is a type of feedback regulation. Mechanisms of density dependent regulation include competition, toxic waste produced by a growing population, for example, yeast eventually kill themselves with the alcohol they produce, predation, Intrinsic factors like a lowered reproductive rate, territoriality um, and running out of space, and disease when there's an increase in um, transmission uh, with an increase in the population. Population dynamics looks at fluctuations from year to year. It's influenced by many factors and it can affect the population of other species. Remember, immigration and emigration also affect population size. If the population increases, then usually emigration increases. When populations are linked, it's called metapopulation. Immigration and emigration is more common between them. Human population growth increased very slowly up until the 1600s, when the population was about 500 million. By the 1800s, it doubled to 1 billion, and by the 1900s, it doubled to 2 billion. In 1975, it was over 4 billion. In 2013, it's re it reached 7 billion. Population is currently growing by 200,000 people per day. However, it is slowing down. The annual rate of increase in 1962 was 22 was 2.2 percent. In 2009, it was 1.2 percent, and in 2050, it's expected to be 0.5 percent. Stable population can be achieved by high birth rate and high death rate, or low birth rate and low death rate. Usually in unindustrialized countries, you have a high birth rate and a high death rate. As a country becomes more industrialized, you get a lower birth rate and a lower death rate. Demographic transition is moving from the first to the second. Age structure is the number of individuals of each age in a population. Infant mortality is the number of deaths per 1,000 births. Life expectancy um, predicts the average lifespan at birth. If infant mortality increases, the parents will usually have more children. What is the human carrying capacity of Earth? In 1679, Anton von Leeuwenhoek said, 13.4 billion. The actual amount is probably between 10 to 15 billion. We can alternatively look at ecological footprints. This is how much land and water is needed by each person, how many resources each person uses.